Well, for sure, you keep a close eye on valuables like your wallet and jewelry. Mm -hmm. But what about your cell phone? Cell phone theft is on the rise, and our Shame on You team finds out tonight. One major carrier is making its customers pay the price. Arnold Diaz has tonight's report. Shame, 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 shame on you. Watch out, cell phone users. You could get stuck paying a bundle for calls you didn't even make. AT&T Wireless is totally unjustified in doing this. Last May, Shannon Hammond says his cell phone was stolen by a thief who then racked up hundreds of dollars worth of calls. But when he reported it, AT&T Wireless demanded he pay for those calls. To be violated a second time by paying the, the, the thief's um, bills um, is ridiculous, and I, I refuse to do it. He's not alone. Another shame on you viewer who didn't want to be on camera sent us his cell phone bill for nearly $800 for calls a thief made to France and Spain. But AT&T Wireless still demanded he pay. When these customers contacted company reps, they say their pleas for help fell on deaf ears. It was simply their policy that, I, that that bill had to be paid before they could reinstate my service. So what gives? You you don't have to pay for charges if your credit card's stolen. So if your cell phone's stolen, why should you have to pay for calls you obviously didn't make? We came here to AT&T Wireless headquarters in Basking Ridge, New Jersey, to try and get some answers. Vice President of Media Relations Mark Siegel says while customer reps are given wide latitude in handling these situations, the policy that our reps have to follow is that you are responsible for the charges. Uh, up until the time you call us to say your phone is lost or stolen. But Shannon Hammond called AT&T Wireless immediately after his phone was stolen. But just hours later, the thief called AT&T Wireless pretending to be Hammond and had the company turn the stolen phone back on. After he canceled his phone, and someone called to turn it back on, why didn't AT&T check with him to see if that was him? And that's one of those judgment calls. 99 and 44 one hundredth percent of the time our folks are right. In this case, perhaps not as right as they needed to be. Okay, then why did the reps insist Hammond pay for the thief's calls? In this case, they didn't quite hit the mark. We took a fresh look and we've forgiven his charges. And while the company has a system which flags unusual calling patterns, it apparently didn't work for our other victim. While his thief racked up hundreds of dollars in overseas calls in just two days, AT&T never contacted him, even though he'd never made an international call before. Why would anyone at AT&T Wireless say to a loyal customer, you have to pay for these charges? It's a fair question. I think if we'd had this to do over again, we would have taken that situation into account more fully and forgiven the charges right away. Even though the company has now wiped the slate clean on both cases, we induct AT&T Wireless into the CBS2 Hall of Shame for refusing to do the right thing until Shame on You came calling. Shame on you! Another one of our viewers got a cell phone bill for $21,000. But because he didn't realize his phone had been stolen for a month, AT&T Wireless is insisting he pay $7,000 of the bill. The lesson, keep close tabs on your cell phone, and if it's missing, report it immediately. If you've got a story idea, call us. The number is 187-SHAME-ON-THE-LETTER-U, or you can email us at cbsnewyork.com. I'm Arnold Diaz, CBS2 News.